I'm Polonius and welcome to the Lomo News. In today's top stories, terrible country music, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Kermit the Frog impersonator Ron DeSantis, and it's really freaking hot. Jason Aldean's new song, Tried in a Small Town, sparked controversy last week with a music video that clearly intends to evoke the right's outrage towards the Black Lives Matter protest. In response to this, Country Music Television, or CMT, has removed this video from all its broadcasts, slingshotting this song to Apple Country Music's Top 40 for... reasons. We've given up nearly three minutes of our lives to listen to this song, and let me tell you, this song is terrible. This song is so terrible, it is very, very obvious only people deeply entrenched in a culture war would pretend to like this song. And as you can tell by my hat and mustache, I am a true American cowboy. Would you like this song? We recommend you take the words from Jason Aldean himself. Go ahead and find out. I bet you don't. Marjorie Taylor Greene, a runner-up in last year's Most Punchable Congressperson Awards, could be facing an ethics investigation after showing explicit photos of Hunter Biden's dong, or as we're calling it, HBD. In a recent congressional hearing, MTG was shown waving photos of HBD around like a bunch of boys showering after football practice. Oddly defiant, but she should be embarrassed. MTG, not satisfied with the results of this hearing, continued her vendetta against Hunter Biden, emailing these explicit photos to all of her constituents, which allegedly included minors. Just think, you were one email distribution list away from your congresswoman sending you nudes. What a time to be alive! Except those photos were of Hunter Biden's dong. In doing this, MTG may have violated DC revenge porn laws, and many, many more. Extreme heat waves descend upon nearly half the globe, setting temperatures to a new record high. These past few weeks have seen a series of brutal record-breaking temperatures wreaking havoc on people of all walks of lives. Power companies are struggling to make as much money as possible as these AC units increase the demand of electricity. Arizona alone has reported potentially 100 heat-related deaths. And while these deaths are a tragedy, these bold patriots gave up their lives for the one thing that matters most in this country, corporate profits. We here at the Lomo News want to make it very clear that we are grateful for the ad revenue from our sponsors, ExxonMobil and Tyson Foods. We wish them the best in their competition to make this the hottest and most inhospitable planet. May God have mercy on us all, because they won't. In lighter news, this dangerous heat wave has put a huge strain on local zoos. To keep these adorable animals' brains from cooking in their skulls, we're going to take it live to our chief animal prison correspondent, Jesse Indizu, for more. Jesse, take it away. Thanks, Velodius. Boy, is it hot out here. While the true number of animal deaths is hard to pinpoint, zoos from across the country are going to extreme measures to keep their local animals from dying of heat stroke. Forced to balance keeping the animals in the sun so three-year-olds can look at them and keeping them safe indoors, zookeepers have taken to unique ways of keeping animals cool. For instance, this frozen goat blood popsicle for Zippy the Siberian Tiger. While zookeepers scramble to keep their most valuable animals alive, it's hard to truly know how many gibbons have been sacrificed at the altar of Little Mason's sixth birthday party. Back to you, Felonius. Wow, Jesse, thanks for that. That piece sure was informative, and those dead gibbons sure are cute. Moving on to tonight's top story, Kermit the Frog impersonator and lover of the show, Ron DeSantis, has changed his sights on a new political opponent in the upcoming 2024 presidential election. After timidly losing to Mickey Mouse, DeSantis' new opponent is Bud Light. DeSantis has urged the director of state to press legal action against Bud Light for... Breaching legal duties owed to its shareholders, or some bullshit like that. Big brands have been changing their image for years to keep up with the younger demographic. Maybe it's time for DeSantis to update his image to keep up with the TikTok generation. Our pitch to DeSantis would be to turn his mega cap sideways, put on a flow ride a graphic tee, and start going by his new name, DJ Ronnie D. That's been the Lomo News. I'm Felonius, and I've had a great time and hope you did too. Keep in mind, don't listen to Jason LD. Listen to me. Have a good one. See you later. Woo! Woo! Holy God, get me 
out of here. Yeah-hoo! 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 Maybe I'm not really a cowboy.